Okay, hello everybody, hello, hello, and welcome to one of my most requested streams of the year. So many people were asking me to do live reactions to every single Gold Saucer date in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. That is what we are doing today. As many of you know, if you watched my playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, I ended up choosing Aerith. We got to do the Aerith date on stream, but there are a lot of other possibilities that open up once you beat the game. So first and foremost, spoiler warning. If you've not already beaten Final Fantasy VII Rebirth or you haven't gotten to the Gold Saucer, leave this video right now. The VOD will be available later. Hello to everybody who's already in chat. I'm seeing Game Prodigy, Misty, Stefan, Clax. Welcome everybody, welcome. And yes, Corin, we will also be including the Loveless dates in this video. I know that's something people wanted, so we're gonna be doing that. Let me turn down the uh, the Kate Sith music real quick. I just thought starting with the Kate Sith music was absolutely perfect. You know, you got that great gold saucer theme with the jazz. It just felt like the right way to start this stream. So welcome one and all. And again, one last thing I wanna mention right at the very top of this. If you have not already, uh, you should be aware of the fact that I have uploaded my full live reaction to the ending of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth right here on my YouTube channel and the entire playthrough of mine of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, all 15 parts are available both on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash rogersbase as a VOD, which some of you I know are watching on right now, and on my VODs channel here on YouTube as well that is linked in the description of this video. Now, the first thing I want to do at the very beginning of this stream is actually start with the date that we did during my actual playthrough. So I've actually already pulled up and synced my playthrough right here. Uh, I think it's this tab, right? It's over here. Boom. I've already synced my playthrough to where we left off during our first Gold Saucer date. Again, I chose Aerith. I'm a Clareth shipper. Unabashedly, I talk about it. And actually, I saw this clip of me reacting to the Clareth date. Kind of went viral on Twitter. It got posted by a lot of people and then reposted. And I think that's the big reason as to why I decided to do this video today. Because I saw so many people on that video saying he has to do his live reactions to all the Gold Saucer dates and not just Aerith. But I'm assuming some of you guys have not actually seen my reaction to Aerith's date because you might have already just seen my video of my reaction at the ending of the game or you maybe didn't watch my playthrough. So we're actually gonna start with that. It's already perfectly synced, so we're gonna do that. Now, the one thing I will say, thank you by the way to Padfoot who just became a member, not comma. The one thing I will say right at the very beginning of this is that people told me that my version of the Aerith date was not the max intimacy version of the date which is surprising because I know for a fact she was my most intimate character in Rebirth. But I don't know if that was people trolling me or what the deal is because, again, I have not seen the other versions. I will also say I think this is the video we're going to be using. This was IGN's posting of all the Gold Saucer dates, and it seems like this one is timestamped to include intimate versions of the dates. So in case there's anything that I missed, I'll be able to see every version. And again, after the end of all of this, we will be doing our reaction to the Loveless stuff too. People are saying that you actually didn't get the intimacy version because you didn't have max affinity. So all right, so maybe we'll just skip this area Earth date portion and we'll go right to the max intimate date version once we've actually finished this off okay all good i think we're all set uh you definitely needed to have her much higher they definitely weren't trolling you see that's too bad because i love Aerith. but that also excites me because that means we're probably going to see something new beyond what i already reacted to so okay i'm going to turn my camera off for right here we're going to go to my playthrough i'm going to open this whole thing up and we're going to start with my first ever reaction to Aerith's date. All right, here we go. Thank you for joining us. And, I mean, special performance of after that, how could you go with anybody else? If you'd like to continue the magic this evening, you're invited to use your tickets to the show for one free ride on the... We're sky going Skywheel time. Come on, Aerith. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. All right, here we go. Off to the Moogle Guide. Take us to the Skywheel ASAP, Guide Moogle. <laughs> that was so much cooler than I expected it was going to be. I knew her solo was coming up because, again, we saw that in the trailers. I did not think it was going to be a full-on stage production and that we were going to see Jesse. And seeing Barrett's reaction to Jesse and him crying. We're off. We're off. And they're playing the electric light parade music. Ride the Skywheel. I'm ready. Premium ticket lost. I do want to see everybody else's versions, but... Oh. 
The iconic sky wheel day. Oh, let's go. Okay. So, shall we? I just gotta put the controller down. I'm gonna be taking screenshots nonstop. There she said, sit right here. <laughs> Oh, this is the moment we waited for, man. Come on, Cloud, don't sit across. What do you think this does? Come on. Spins things around. It's almost like the Ferris wheel of California Adventure that goes sliding up and down like this. Wow. This is incredible. You got all the Galactic Rangers over there? Star Fox! All right, get out of our way, Wolf. Here we go, get closer. There we go! Ah! Oh my god! Bro! The Clareth shipper in me is dying right now. Hey, check it out. And the chocobo's running. The music even too. This is insane. Chocobo racing's nothing like that. Bro, come on. Well, you would know. Ah! <laughs> come on, look how beautiful the fireworks are, Cloud. Come on. Now's the time. Oh, she just what? poured her heart and soul on the stage for you. And that's all you can give her? Oh, man. Cloud, don't look the other way. Come on. Zack's dead, bro. It doesn't matter. It's fine. You don't got to respect your friend. It's fine. He's gone. You were just like him. You were just like him, and yet he's better. So go. Come on, Cloud. It wasn't your face or your clothes. It was you. She fell in love with you. The way you walked. The way you carried yourself. Whenever I looked at you, I mean, but now I just see you. But you're not him. That's it. That's right. That's what we needed. That's what I needed. Okay. That's good. 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 Because right now, I want to be with you. Yes, let's go! Oh, man. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm Aerith, do it. It's so hard to find you. Do it. Be brave. Be brave, baby girl. Here. He's dumb. But you're not emotionally available. Come on. Take your hands off your legs like that. What are you doing, man? Um, can I talk to you? Did Tifa talk to you? Stop. Hey, um, don't, Eric? don't, don't. I talked to Cloud. He said he remembers Zach. <gasps> They're throwing this in. How they were friends five years ago. What? I don't think so. Oh. At least. She said, don't worry about him. Again, he's dead too. Don't worry. Steven didn't tell me anything. You're fine. Hmm. Don't let it cloud your judgment, Cloud. Come on. There we go. There we go. Aerith making the move for him. Doing what he can't do. Come on. Just till the ride's over. Till the ride's over. Oh, man. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, and now he's being a gentleman. <laughs> hey, thanks for tonight. You're welcome, but I didn't do anything. She's like, sure you did. Market warriors, you and me. We'll show him tomorrow. Oh man. Oh, I'm so yeah. glad I got her. Okay, so there we go. So as you can see, that was my initial reaction to the Aerith date during my actual playthrough. Now the thing is, I thought this was the intimate version. Apparently this was not the intimate version. 
Apparently this was the regular one. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna watch the intimate version. Also, I'm seeing Clax in my chat mentioning that uh, apparently you can watch all of them on the PS5 once you've actually beaten the game. I thought you had to still play through the chapter to unlock them all. But we're already here now and I figure it's just easier to do it in video form so I don't miss anything. And so I can actually see all the Max Intimate versions and the other versions. But again, I did not realize there was more to this Aerith date. So, I'm hopefully going to be very, very happy to see this Intimate version. So we can just skip past this. Also, are they playing with Cloud without a shirt on in this version? What's going on here? Okay, so Aerith date. So this is the Intimate version. So we'll go back to the very end of her version right here. And now we're going to watch the intimate version. Okay. I'm nervous. I got to be honest, I'm, I'm nervous. So again, this is exactly what we already saw. Shout out to IGN, by the way, for uh, linking all these in one video so it's easier for me to go through all of them. Yeah, exactly. This is way easier than going through the menu. Okay. So the intimate version... Oh! Oh! Bare-handed, okay! They gotta censor that in Japan! That's almost too much! <laughs> Wait, oh! Oh, are they gonna kiss? In the intimate version? Wait, wait! Oh! Oh, no, 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 okay. No, they're not gonna kiss. The way y'all were hyping me up, telling me there was some different Intimate version, I thought there was gonna be something else. Okay, oh, so we're good. Oh, oh wait, oh no, wait, there's something else after. Wait, 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 wait. He still does the gentlemanly hey. thing. Thanks for tonight. Is the dialogue gonna change? You're welcome. But I didn't do anything. <laughs> Wall Market Warriors, you oh, no. and me. Okay. We'll show them tomorrow. Bruh. Y'all were scaring me! Thinking I was gonna have a heart attack, thinking we were gonna get a Clareth kiss. So it, was, it wasn't that much different. All right, that's good, that's good, that's good. It wasn't significantly different. See, when everybody was telling me, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, you missed the intimate version, you really missed out. I thought we were gonna get a kiss. I thought we were gonna get maybe potentially even something more. They just did the little barehanded little squeeze and that was that, which was lovely. Again, lovely. But all the good stuff that I really loved in Aerith's was all still there. It was fine. So it, was, it wasn't like I got... It, I wasn't like I was missing out on something crazy. That was fine. That's totally fine. That makes me feel very, very happy. Because I would have felt horrible if I felt like I really missed out and there was like a makeout scene or something that I didn't get from playing through the game initially. Just wait until you get to Tifa's date. You're not ready? We'll see. We'll see. All I did, though, like I said, all I wanted was I wanted to see what the difference was in the intimate version with Aerith because we got Aerith in the actual playthrough. We've done that now. Now we're moving on to completely unseen territory, stuff I haven't seen at all. We're starting with Barrett. I'm assuming there's an intimate version too? Okay, what the heck? I also think it's so funny that they chose to do Cloud shirtless for the intimate versions, but all right, here we go. Barrett's date, let's get started. I'm ready to see this. <laughs> Are you really doing this? <laughs> Use some peace and quiet, couldn't you? Are we really doing this? Let me know, by the way, if my audio is too loud or too quiet or whatever. Just let me know. So what are they going to do with Barrett? What's this? <laughs> Spinning everything around. <laughs> I feel like Barrett's going to just make him go sick. He's gonna start spinning it, and spinning it, and spinning it until they puke. Got more of the Star Fox sequence again. Now, I'm assuming a- Hey! <laughs> Bro! It's a hologram, man! Come on, Barrett! break it? <laughs> Just messing with you. I don't think so. Got the little chocobo races. Ooh. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Quinn! Quinn! I'd love to. 
the cowboy music they're using in the background. <laughs> Just a couple bros on a Ferris wheel. When I was about your age, I decided I'd had enough of the mines. I wasn't much interested in any kind of work. I was young and wanted to enjoy my youth. And then I met a sweet girl named Myrna. Mm. Knew right away she Reminiscing was about his wife on the date. I like this. But Myrna, she wasn't buying what I was selling. Told me she was in the market for a man, not a selfish little boy. If I was gonna win her heart, I had some growing up to do. Otherwise, she'd never give me the time of day. Cloud should have listened to Barrett. Funny enough, our first date was at a theme park. They should have had this conversation before no the date so we could have actually kissed Aerith. Of course. Just a traveling she needs a grown-up full of rides. Not a whiny little kid, Cloud. We ended up riding these wooden chocobos round and round, laughing our asses <laughs> off. <laughs> Look at me, boring you with my old stories. You're not Wouldn't boring, first, Barrett. Like, don't worry. I'm used to it. <sighs> yeah, well, the lesson here is once you find your soulmate, you never let him go. Listen to him. Although seeing it just stuck riding this thing with me, I'm thinking you probably already did. <laughs> hey, you invited me. <laughs> right, because I learned to make the first move. That's right, which is Barrett. Exactly what you gotta do. Exactly. Step it up, Cloud. Stop being a whiny baby. Step it up. Kiss Aerith. Kiss Tifa. Go back in time. Kiss Jesse back. She loved you, buddy. Yeah. And well, you blew it. The lesson here is once you find your soul. <laughs> so this is the intimate version. Okay, let's see. So, who is it? Hmm? Oh! Who's what? My soulmate. You know damn well what I'm talking about. Why do you always? He's trying to get it out of him. That ain't no way to live. You gotta just go for it sometimes. You mean like you do all the time? <laughs> Touché. <laughs> I thought. <laughs> I'll, I'll let it finish, man. We balance each other out. Yeah. <laughs> I just find it so funny. He's sitting there shirtless through this whole thing. <laughs> I mean it, though. If you do have feelings for someone, tell them straight out. That's right. Don't wait till it's too late. That's right. That's right. Right. I love this music, too. It is too late, though, unfortunately for you, Cloud. Again, they should have... They needed to have that conversation before the gold saucer dates with Tifa and Aerith. That's what we needed. Barrett needed to sit Cloud down and say, look, buddy, make the first move. Tell him how you're feeling. Even in this moment. Even in this moment, Cloud messed up. Because Cloud could have been like, you're my bro. I love you, buddy. Still didn't even do that. Cloud's messing up all over the place, man. Good words of advice from Barrett. Very good words of advice. Thanks for coming out tonight. I appreciate it. So I'm assuming Tomorrow, that this scene doesn't change to regardless of whether or not you do intimate versions or regular versions. Yeah. That was nice. Got a little more depth with Barrett. Found out more about his relationship with Myrna. Oh, 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 we oh, oh, gotta pause. Hold on. We got the red date coming up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I, was, I just wanted to comment on one other thing with the Barrett date. Oh, he talks about his date with Myrna and all that stuff and how he's got to make the first move. I did think it would have been super funny if in the moment where Barrett takes off the sunglasses and leans down to Cloud and he's like, if you like somebody, say it. Cloud, even, even if it was just a joke, even if it was just a thing to throw to the shippers, it would have been funny for Cloud to be like, well, what if it's you? What if you're my soulmate? And then have Barrett be like, wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? What are you, what are you talking about? Yeah, uh, it's not like I like you or anything. <laughs> would have been hysterical. 
Alas, we didn't end up getting it. But I do think it would have been funny to have schoolboy Barrett <laughs> kind of moment. All right. <laughs> that would have been great. All right. Roger, call Red by his proper name, Nanaki. All right, I'll call him Nanaki. Nanaki, it's time for your date, bro. Let's go. Cloud and a date with his dog. He's all excited to be here. And he's using his Nanaki voice, which is kind of nice. He's just an excited little puppy. Just like Sephiroth called Cloud. He's panting like a puppy. Pull it. How can I? It's an oh, I love this. He's like a kid at Disneyland, man. This is great. He's spinning the thing around. That will be funny if during Yuffie's date, she's like, please don't spit it. <laughs> Whoa. And again, I'm assuming this sequence with the chocobos and the flying saucers is relatively the same for most of them. I got this. There you go. Dodge Pretty out of the way. Good, right? good work, You're Nanaki. <laughs> oh, 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 man. As a dog owner, this one's hitting. I like this. <laughs> Howling at the kiss from the chocobo guy. Look at his tongue hey, flapping. You're gonna drool on the seat. <laughs> Close call. And he can't contain himself. He's just doing his regular Nanaki voice. He's not trying to put on airs. He's not trying to sound older or wiser. He's just having fun with his buddy. I, I do, I'm gonna pause this real quick though. Here's what I want. For the intimate version of Red's date, this is exactly what I want. I want Cloud to look down at Red, who's tired himself out after running around on this Ferris wheel, on the sky wheel, and he's about to pass out. And then I wanna see Cloud pet him on the head and go, good boy. Oh, wouldn't that be cute? I want that. If they don't do that, Square, if you don't do that, if you don't give our boy Red pets, I'm gonna be mad. This game is gonna drop from a 10 out of 10 to a 9.9 .9 out of 10. What's up? All Give right. Red the pets. This doesn't leave the ride, okay? Oh. It might sound crazy, but back in Midgar, Aerith and I could both see the future. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, We're getting this kind of lore then. explain a lot. I'm guessing you can't anymore though? Nope, not even a bit. Whatever we had, I think the Whispers took it from us when we left. Right. Huh. Seems Arbiters of Fate can do whatever they want. So you told us. Oh, did I? Huh. I wonder if this means we'll eventually forget they even exist. Interesting. We'd be better off if we did, frankly. There's no point in wasting our time worrying about fate if we can't change it. You're right. Still... There is one thing I need you to remember. What is it, Red? You have to keep Aerith safe. Mm -hmm. I mean it, Cloud. I don't remember what's supposed to happen, but I do know she's in danger. I was not expecting this out of his. He better still get pets, though. Come on. I don't remember what's supposed to happen, but I do know she's in danger. Like, I'll take care of it, boy, don't worry. And then give him a pat on the head. Come on. Sick. Oh! <laughs> this is better! This Shake is better! It. Shake on it! Sh give his Shake his little paw, come on. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Look how happy he is, man! They are soft. Cause he's touching his little beans! Nothing. <laughs> oh, that's great! Calling back to when Aerith has that conversation during the side quest with Red. Saying, I bet your little beans are squishy, can I feel them? Oh, that's cute, that's cute, that's cute. <laughs> I'm glad that we could speak in private. Bro, Nanaki, come yeah. on, man. You're good company. Thanks. <laughs> Switch it again. The shake was so cute. There we go. He got a little pet. That's what we wanted. All right, you can stay at 10 out of 10, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. That's good. Very, very good. Very good. I wow, I was not expecting... Uh-oh, here we go. I see Tifa's date down here. Here we go. I was not expecting 
Nanaki to talk about Aerith during his date the way that he was talking about her. Because the other thing is, having watched them back to back to back and obviously having chosen Aerith in my main playthrough, it almost seems like Barrett's date is meant to push Cloud to tell Tifa his true feelings. Because again, like you gotta remember where this happens in the story is just a little bit after that sequence in the reactor that was only like a couple chapters ago where crowd, uh, Cloud goes crazy and then like pushes her off into the thing. So I almost feel like Barrett's convo is meant to push Cloud in the direction of Tifa. And then I feel like Nanaki's Reds is kind of meant to push him in the direction of Aerith saying, look, you gotta keep her safe no matter what, she's in danger. So I do think that's kind of, that's interesting that they're doing that. That they're basically having two dates push in different directions. Because then after Tifa's, all we've got is Yuffie's, and then I'm assuming little ones with like Kate Sith, or maybe Sid, or with Vincent. I actually, well, I don't think Sid and Vincent are going to get one, but I feel like Kate will get one for sure. Um, I also don't even know, like, at this point in the story... Because you get Kate relatively late, like, you must really have to forcibly do stuff to get close to Kate in order to even have that one happen. So I feel like that's probably going to be the rarest one. But okay, here we are. Tifa's date. 16 minutes in. Let's do this. The moment people have been waiting for. Let's go. Tifa's are you ready date. for this? A gondola's here. Now, you better listen to Barrett, Cloud. I'm, I'm going to pause real quick. I just want to say one more thing. Cloud, listen to Barrett. All right. Even as a Clareth shipper, even as somebody who likes Cloud and Aerith together, I still want him to make a move on Tifa. Do it. Well, after Do it, you. Cloud. You first. Uh, Cause Cloud? Tifa, she got the short end of the stick the whole way through this game. <sighs> oh look, already pulling her in. Okay. Sitting a little too far away, though. You gotta get closer. Snuggle up. Think we can steer with this? Worth a try. It is also funny seeing everybody's reactions to the steering wheel. <laughs> Here it goes. She's going nice and slow, though. Uncross your arms, buddy. What are you doing, Cloud? Come on. She's right there. You got a cute girl there. Don't just sit there like this, moping. Listen to what Barrett said. Make a move. Be a man. <laughs> so she kind of takes it serious too, trying to dodge out of the way well, of the hologram. Then good work. Nice save. Over there, see that? All the little chocobos running. Being a jockey looks so fun. That's definitely not what the races are like. I guess I'll just have to see for myself. The little wink, how cute. I was like, it was panning out a little too far. I'm like, there's no way that's the end of Tifa's date. Make a move, Cloud. Make a move. Scoot in. What are you doing? There we go. A little bit of a scoot. Only by a centimeter, but that's fine. Come on. Give something to the Cloudy fans. You gave stuff to the Clareth fans. Bro, there's no way. There's simply no way. There's no way during Tifa's date that he says, talk to Aerith? Bro. Bro. Why would you do this to her? Tifa deserves better, honestly. She deserves better. Hey, um, Aerith? Bruh. I talked to Cloud. He said he remembers So this that. is like the scene that we got in Aerith as well. How they were friends five years ago. What? Not yet. Right. 
Touchy subject, huh? She must still have feelings for Zack. Bro, what are you doing? What are you doing, bro? If you I think it's a little more complicated than that. I have to pause again. I'm sorry. I have to pause again. Just because these are my thoughts. As the scene is happening, watching it blind for the first time, all right? I feel like in that moment where Cloud says, oh, she must still have feelings for Zack then. I feel like that's awful because you're on a date with this girl. Now, if he makes a move with Tifa and she's talking about the stuff with Zack, it's almost going to be like she's second fiddle. It's like, well, if she's still in love with Zack, how about you and me? Come on. Cloud, bro. Cloud. Again, Tifa deserves better. Let's keep going. And she said, it's complicated. I understand that, but come on. Hey, you better reach out, kind Cloud. It's weird us being here like this, isn't it? Do something, man. Come on. You can't do this on Aerith's and Tifa's. Is There's it? no way. I mean, I guess it is. Scoot in a little bit, bro. Just a little bit. Ever since we left Midgar on this crazy journey, ever since we were kids, even, I can't remember a time like this. Please, you got the fireworks going. The Give them something. Give these cloudy close. fans something. Please. Look how pretty that was. She even had the firework behind her. Cloud, come on, bro. Or am I getting ahead of myself again? Again? Yeah. Again. Grab her hand at least, man. There we go. There we go. There we go. Good, Cloud. Good. Good, good, good. Making the first move, Not just like Barrett did. said. There we go. Good. Good, 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 good. You get the music swelling. Come on. Okay, they're holding hands. <gasps> Whoa. Bruh. If he doesn't kiss her in the intimate version, I'm going to be pissed. There is simply... Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Kiss. Lean over a little bit, bro. Come... Oh, 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 oh! 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 Play the Tifa theme! Da -na 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 -na. There we go, buddy! Listen to Barrett! There we go! Very good! Very good! Magnificent! Good, 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 good! Good! I was like, there's no way he does the lead up to that, pulls her in and just goes and gives her a stern hug. Good, Cloud, good! Now go find a room at the haunted hotel! Don't go turning away from each other. Come on, that was beautiful! We should probably head back to our rooms. How about you head back to one room? You got the fantasy suite up there. What are you doing? Go back to your rooms. Look at me. See, this is... You can be a shipper. I want to say this right now. All right, before we get to Yuffie's date. You can be a shipper for one thing, but also be happy for the other shippers. Because that's how I am right now. Because for a while there during Tifa's date, things were getting a little scary. Things were getting a little bad. When he brought up Aerith on the date, and he's like, man, so she must still have feelings for Zack. I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you messing up? Why are you fumbling the bad with this baddie? What's going on, Cloud? But that's good. Man, if I would have gotten the standard date version with Tifa, and I was a cloudy shipper, I would have been pissed. I would have been so mad. They didn't even get the finger intermingling thing, just like a pull in and a stern hug. But that was good. The intimate one made up for it. Totally made up for it. I mean, look, Tifa got a kiss. Aerith didn't get a kiss. Aerith didn't get a kiss. He might be doing multiversal, you know, conversations with Aerith now at the end of the game. But still, that's good. I'm glad, I'm glad that somebody got a kiss at least. 
We just got a donation, by the way, from Corin saying, I'm a cloudy, and I still feel like Aerith's date is a little better, though, because the kills, kiss felt a little awkward after the Aerith must still love Zack thing and the dramatic slow motion hug. I mean, it was a little bit. But I'm just, I'm happy he at least went for it. I'm happy at least he kissed somebody. Am I slightly disappointed that he didn't kiss Aerith? Yes, admittedly. Is it the end of the world? No. Because at the end of the day, in one of these multiverses, he kisses Tifa and everything's okay. It's all good. All right. Now we got Yuffie's. Yuffie, 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 Yuffie. Where is this going to take us? All right. And you guys are right. They got another game. All the, the cloudy shippers can be excited. We got a whole third game coming. And with Aerith gone, I mean, she's, you know, she's still there. She's with them. But still. All right. Let's go. Here we go. Yuffie's date. Let's go. Just wait until you see Intimate Yuffie. It's the best. I'm kind of concerned. Yuffie's like the little sister of the group. I don't necessarily know if I want to see Intimate Yuffie. But here we are. 22-23. Let's go. <laughs> this makes perfect. But she's hype like Nanaki Practice was, which is what? good at least. Uh, for when the real thing comes around. <laughs> for when the real thing comes around. <laughs> She's going on a practice hey, date with Cloud? Are you forgetting someone? What the heck? Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. See, the only thing is she's not going to want to spin the thing. That's the difference. No, don't do it. You're going to hurl! You were just talking about us. You wanted us to make the minecart thing easier. She's having fun though. I guess maybe when she's in control of it, it's not too bad. But see, she stopped. She did one spin. She got there and went, I'm good. I don't need anything else. <laughs> no, she's having a good time. Look at this. It's gonna have to kick it. Yeah, there we go. I was like, it's gonna have to kick in. Thank you, by the way, KY. I'm gonna read that in a second. <laughs> I see she's getting sick. Great idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the scariest one so far when the chocobo falls in. Unfreaking believable! See, I know some people find Yuffie annoying, but I do think there's a certain charm to it. Like, she's just fun to be around. Can she be annoying and bratty sometimes? Absolutely. Would we trade Yuffie for anybody else? No, she's great. She's endearing. Huh? Her heart's going doki doki? She's like, what is this feeling? So sudden and new. So, I heard you and Tifa go way back. <laughs> so she's Team Tifa, okay. I also heard she used to have a pretty big crush on you. Okay. That's so. Well, not at first. Apparently, even as a kid, you had that weird loner vibe. But then one day, bam. She got the love This bug. is kind of nice, actually. I Are wasn't expecting this. Oh. <gasps> Don't remember. Don't remember, bro. Really? Though so this day. <laughs> Tifa said she was so busy after the move to Midgard that she forgot all about you, too. Bro. <laughs> yeah, I should have made your move when uh, you had the chance, because now she doesn't care about you. I get it. I had a thing for a soldier once. At least I think he was a soldier. I wanted to prove myself, so I hit him with my best moves. <laughs> it was like I was firing energy blasts. After a few salvos, he shouted, You got me! And at the time, I totally bought it. <laughs> Is she talking about Zack from Crisis Core? Like in the beginning, hold on, pause. In the beginning of Crisis Core, there's that scene where he goes to Wutai. Is that what she's talking about? Chad is saying, yeah, she is indeed talking about Zack. It's a Crisis Core reference. Wow, okay. That's kind of cute she brings that up then. I like that. I also do think it's really funny though that she brings up specifically he was just messing around. 
playing with the dumb kid. That's a cute little thing. I was not expecting her to bring that up on the date. I like that. just playing along for a dumb kid. And once I realized that, I was pissed. I couldn't stop thinking about it. So him. technically then, hold on, I'm gonna pause this again. I'm sorry, I keep pausing. Technically, Zach is brought up on every single one of the girls' dates then. On every single one, these ladies can't stop thinking about and talking about Zach. On every single date. The thing is, at least on Eris, Eris is like, look, I liked Zach, but you're you. I like you for you. Tifa brings it up after the whole thing with him bringing up Aerith on the date. Now she brings it up unprompted that she had a little bit of a crush on him for playing along with her goofiness back in Crisis Core. You said, can you blame them? No, I love Zach. Zach's got Riz. I love Zach. I'm happy he's with us. I stand Zach as well. And considering how dumb Cloud is half the time, I completely buy it. All right, let's keep going. I swear to myself that one day I'd blast that jerk for real. Did some hardcore training so I could give him a beat down. But eventually, it dawned on me. He was just being nice. Like, he was a really nice guy. <laughs> Rub it in a little more. Unlike you. And the more I thought he was about real it, nice. the more I realized, wow, I liked him. You know? That's Maybe so it's cute. because of those feelings that I still can't fire energy blasts. I can help. Uh... With the energy blast? Or my feelings? What? Wait, 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 wait. The former. Oh. Feelings ain't my thing. I was like, where is this going? Wait a minute. I think we both kind of suck in that department. So that was the standard version. What's going to change in the intimate version then? Oh, wait. Kiss on the cheek. It's not like I like you or anything. I mean, that, that is the sort of thing you're supposed to do in these situations. It was just practice. So Wait, now I'm worried for the intimate version, anything, though. Okay? If that was the standard version. Oh, say something. <laughs> something. Are you Bro. kidding me? I do something nice for you, and that's what I get. You lousy jerk! Oh, he's smirking the whole way through. <laughs> that was actually great. I loved that. Oh, say something. So this is the intimate version, okay. Uh, you're so So annoying. he's not gonna make the something joke in the intimate version? <laughs> oh, he's playing along like Zach did. <laughs> oh man. That is so cute. Good on him for playing along and being if nice. If I ever see that guy again, what should I do? That's up to you. But if it were me, I'd let him have it. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> the intimate version is the best, man! I love that! <laughs> Pretending like he's taking a beat down. I wonder too if that's setting up a potential like Yuffie Zack. Anyone about tonight, and you're a dead man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm surprised she's not Naruto running out of there. Wait, okay. Oh, 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 whoa, what the heck? Wait, wait, wait. Kate, Sith, Sid, and Vincent State? All three of them go on one together? They got a boys' night? Lads on tour! Lads on tour! Okay, <laughs> okay. Wait, real quick though, going back to the, the intimate date with Yuffie. I'm wondering if that little thing about like, if we ever see him again, what should I do? And he's like, you should give him a beat down. I almost wonder if at some point, now that we know at the, well, we don't know for a fact, right? We don't know at the end of Rebirth where Zack is necessarily. But I do think it would be interesting that after the universe is merged and we have the giant finale, if maybe Zack ended up in the universe of Rebirth and that there could actually be a moment of reunion between Zack and between Yuffie and then maybe we get like a fun little play fight side quest in the third game. 
Like, and once we get to Utah and, uh, Wutai and stuff, that would be awesome. I would love to have Zach along during Wutai. That would be cool. Even if it is just like a side quest, even if it's not like a guaranteed canon event, I think that would be kind of neat. If in some way we have a play fight between Yuffie and Zack, and then that's how she's able to get the energy burst back again. That would be great. We also, if we're going to get that, you know, you know what we should really get? See, now my brain is going in a hundred different directions. What we should really get, we should honestly get the ability to go back to the gold saucer again if Zack is in our world, and then take Zack on dates with Yuffie and Tifa and Aerith. At the very least, Yuffie and Aerith. That would be awesome. I feel like they're going to have to bring the Gold Saucer back again for the next game. They already have it done. Why would you not bring it back? Unless it would maybe take up too much room or something. But I think it would be fun. Bring the Gold Saucer back. Maybe throw some new minigames in for the third game. And give us some Zack dates. That would be great. Even if they're not canon. Dude, I see. Yeah, exactly. Grape Juice saying in my chat too. Zack and Cloud date. Of course. Of course you got to give that to those shippers too. Of course you got to get a Zack and Cloud date. All right. Here we go. Final date. Kate, Sith, Sid, and Vincent. So they all come with you. So I'm assuming this is if your affinity is really high with Kate, Sith, and it's just low with everybody else. I was not expecting Sid and Vincent to come on the date with meet. us. It doesn't even work like that. It just feels weird to have Vincent here. Because at this point in the story, he just joined the last chapter. But we just sit here and spin? Ugh. Could at least thrown in a joystick. That seems joysticky. Oh? <laughs> They're even playing the goofy music for this. <laughs> Some dumb kid's toy. Come on. At least we at can least enjoy, enjoy the, the scenery. scenery. Exactly. Just look! You've got a space battle unfolding right before your very eyes! Tell me that doesn't send a chill down your spine! And Sid's like, I don't care, I've been in actual planes before. Oh no! Evasive action! Hard to port! <laughs> hey, it actually dodged that time around though, wow! We made it by the skin of our teeth! <laughs> <laughs> Poor Kate's just trying to have oh. fun, man! Vincent and Cloud are not having it. Come on. Have a little fun. Oh. They're not even moving when the chocobo crashes. You know, people sometimes ask me to predict who will win a race. Ah, come off it, I tell them. If I could do that, I wouldn't they still be working here now, would I? Hmm? Huh? Huh? None of it. You can even see the devastation in his face. <sighs> Look, Reeves trying his best, but it ain't Whoa, working. Talk about a breathtaking spectacle. Seriously, are you lads seeing this? Bro, come on. Vincent's sleeping. Punch him in the face, Kate. Hell yeah, you wee scunners. <laughs> I provide entertainment in spades, and all I get is crickets. Can we go any faster? This is torture. Come on! Kate, zip it. Why are you taking heads? Come to shut up! I'm the one trying to make this fun. This is the worst date ever. Is Vincent gonna give him something at least? No, he's out. He's out like a light. Open the doors! Let me open this thing! <laughs> Oh, man. What a bummer for Kate. Well, I'll be in the stands rooting for you tomorrow. Knock him dead. Dang. You tried. You tried your best, buddy. If you like that video, I want Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. That is brutal. The fact that Kate was trying his best to make it fun for them, and still, they're not having any of it. The fact that Vincent straight up fell asleep, and he had to scream in the megaphone. Horrible. Quite, that is most definitely the worst date. Of any of them, that is the worst one. If I was playing through the game, and I didn't get one of the girls, or even Barrett or Red, and I got that, 
I'd be furious, man. I would be absolutely furious. I think I want to say this. Now that we've seen them all, if I had to rank them, where would I put them? I would say, obviously, Kate's is on the bottom. Then I would say Barrett's would be after Kate's. Because I think there was ample opportunity to have some other fun little ship moments with Barrett, and they didn't end up doing that. So I would say Barrett's would be second to last. Then it's tough because I feel like Red, Yuffie, Aerith, and Tifa all had fantastic dates. I would say then it would be... I think I have to go Red. I think I have to go Red fourth. Even though that moment with the handshake was so cute... I think I got to put red fourth. Then I got to say, I still kind of feel like Aerith's was the best though. Even though he kissed Tifa, I feel like the vibes were off the whole rest of that date. So while the end of the Tifa date more than made up for it, I feel like I still liked Aerith's the best. I was still popping off for Aerith's. I really, really like Yuffie's though. I actually think like Yuffie's date is really good. The stuff with Zack, the callbacks to Crisis Core, him play fighting with her I thought was super cute. Like Yuffie's in a weird way almost felt more intimate than Tifa's and Aerith's. Because he's at least like having fun, moving around, he's not stone-faced. But I do feel like overall top two are definitely Tifa and Aerith's, no huge surprise. I would still say for me personally as a Clareth shipper, I would put Aerith's on top simply because even though they don't kiss on Aerith's date, it feels more natural the way they come together and sort of just like put their heads by each other and enjoy the rest of it. It feels a little more natural than that weird stiff hug that he gives to Tifa, even though he does kiss Tifa in the intimate version. I don't know. I still feel like Aerith's still hit home for me. I liked Aerith. So what we're going to do now though, real quick, we've gone through all the dates. It has been highly requested that I see the other versions of Loveless. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull up on this screen. I'm going to open this up over here. I'm going to pull up on this screen my initial reaction to Loveless. We're going to do that from my playthrough, which I think is in the same video. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Well, and now, I'm assuming the Aerith song doesn't change, right? Tifa and Yuffie don't end up singing the song ever, right? And you can spoil that for me, chat. That's totally okay. Feel free to spoil that for me. Um, I'm going to go back to this original version so you can see my initial reaction to the Aerith Loveless date. And then we're going to, while you guys are watching that, I'm going to try to pull up the versions with Yuffie's and with Tifa's. So here we go. We're going to go back to this. Aerith is the only one that sings every time. There you go. Okay. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There's the Jesse one. We're starting here. I'm going to pull this up for you guys while I look for the other the Loveless version so you guys can see my initial reaction to the Aerith Loveless version as well. Okay, here we go. Swapping things on over. Give me one sec. I'll be right back. You get the self-insert cloud. I'll freeze. Oh! <laughs> He flung himself into the fray in the hope of becoming a hero, only to be flung in jail and branded a felon. I, I am sorry. I have to pause. I'm sorry. Real quick. I know I, we, I should be watching this all the way through. I just have to pause. The composition of the music during this alone is remarkable. Like, if you actually listen to the classical music that they're playing in the background... Like, ignore what Kate's saying for the time being. Ignore the fact that there's a self-insert cloud. We just saw Jesse perform. Barrett was crying. The actual composition of the music, the classical music playing in the background is 10 out of 10. So do we choose your path? Wait, so can I mess this up? Test your might. Face your fate. Let's do test your might. Face your fate. Face your fate. Let's go. No tutorial needed. I must away. Release me. My blade thirsts for vengeance. <laughs> You've got him with the bad acting too. It's so good. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh! 
are. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh man. How, okay, so this, how do you do this without Aerith being the choice of the golden saucer then? Like what? You just go through this whole thing and she's part of it or like this? Let's keep going. Alfred, are you unharmed? She's at least into it. Rosa, how did you find me? Your woeful cries could not fail to reach mine ears. How now, my love? Why is thy cheek so pale? How chance the roses there do fade so fast? Be like for water of rain that I can well beteem them from the tempest of my eyes. What is going on? Barrett, they're all part of it! What? Pray take not another step. Bro. <laughs> Barbados, you got Baron as the bad guy, Red as his henchman. And they still pair Red and Barrett together all the time. Dude, what? I, by the grace of the goddess, <laughs> as she has set me free, even now, so too shall she guide my place. So there, in their version, is Cloud the bad guy? Select your opponent. We gotta fight Barrett, obviously, naturally. The Dragon King Varvados. goeth before the fall. I, Garm, shall deliver you to hell. He can't even use his red voice for this. Piercing fang. And I, Garm, shall send you to the deepest bowels of hell. I'm going against Varvados. Here we go. Tremble and fear before. Clash with Varvados, Act One. So is this going to be like a rhythm game or something? Wait. Okay. So it's like a quick time event thing. What in the world? This is amazing, man. So obviously, the, what? I, I'm also trying to like pay attention to the visuals and I don't want to mess up the timing. Is cool. Come on. You're holding them against the wall like Ridley. <laughs> oh. Come on, Cloud. The choreography is just so good. You got it, Cloud. Slice down Varvedos. Max combo, great. I got 14 and 3. Fantastic. The audience is cheering. Well done. Bravo! What a splendid show. Never have I seen a swordsman dance with such grace you and skill. You can see Aerith. Little clapping in the background. The goddess must have seen fit to grant him a sliver of her strength. Perhaps his dreams of becoming a hero may yet be fulfilled. Now then. Hail and well met, noble Alfred. I also, I love that Kate Sith is the well, full type character, the narrator of the puck. Some talent and divination do I possess? Anything you wish to know, I shall gladly. Look, like, I need to see them actually perform Shakespeare. All right, on to Garm. Garm's weakness, or your future with Rosa? Obviously, this. What is the future, if not the product of choices past? Each a fork in the road. None can divine the conclusion of every path. Obviously, you're going to get a chance to replay this at some point. All tales that begin with a chance encounter and do different choices. The same end. A tearful farewell. So then, if well, that's enough of my blethering. It's time we set the stage in you. Okay. Okay, versus Garm, let's go. I love that they make him fire breathing too. That's awesome. Nice, hold him down. Uh oh. That one was quick. Oh no, uh oh. Wait, what the heck? Why did I click the wrong one? Watch out, Cloud! Nice. Oh, 
so he's making shadow clones and stuff? Like, what? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay, Cloud. Dude, the choreography on this is just incredible. Go, 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 go. The gold saucer does not disappoint. Nice, we got him. I only missed two. And those two is because I thought it was a mashing one and I accidentally clicked through two of them. We're good, I'll take it. Max combo 23, I'll take it. That was near perfect. The part where they were throwing it at me, I was fine. It was literally just the beginning I screwed up. A truly remarkable display of Every actor messes up or flubs a line every once in a while. It's not a big deal. Once and for all, he had been unjustly imprisoned and stripped of his wings. Nevertheless, Alfred was resolved to press onward and reclaim the heaven. <laughs> How much Kate's getting into it, too. Now, without further ado. Friend, Ooh. lend me your ears. Ooh. Our aspiring heroes and indomitable princess's tale draws to a close. Only no, don't draw this to a close. I want to do this for another two hours. Such sweet sorrow. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. Though it is our wish that this tale remain with you long after we are gone. This will stick with me, don't so worry my about friends, it. Will you join us in our conquest of despair? This is just so well done. I cannot get over it. Spectacular. Though our tale be loveless named. We may yet restore hope to this heartbroken world. The Dragon King Varvados fears only true love. And so our hero Alfred will reveal to him its power. He will go to his beloved and proclaim their blessed bond with a kiss. It's not even the gold saucer date yet. We got to practice on stage. There you go. You do a stage kiss first. Stand before your soulmate. You could choose the others? Wait, what? So I'm assuming, are these the characters that I was the closest with throughout the course of the game then? Like, do the bad guys and the princess change? Like, if I was close to Tifa or Yuffie, could I choose Tifa and Yuffie as the princess? Or, like, do the bad guys change? Like, if I just was mean to Aerith the whole game, does she become, like, an evil queen? Or if she was my second place? Like, what is happening here? Obviously, we go to our true love, naturally. Come on now. I love. Oh! Alfred. <laughs> Doing a whole dance sequence? Oh, man. Do it! Do it! Do it! Ah, no, Barrett! Love is not what an illusion. Barrett and Garm, you scum! I gotta take you out! What would have happened? Oh. Oh! So we're fighting both at once then. Okay. And Aerith is backing us up. Slashing him. Let's go. Okay. Radiant Ward. See, I got to be careful not to push too hard, though. X. Yo, dude, these visuals. I have to go back and, like, re-watch this and actually see what's happening. I'm focusing so I don't mess up. I want to get a perfect guard flying around. Oh, my gosh. Go, 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 go! Knock him out! Don't go after her, stop him! There we go, Cloud! Come in! Come on! <laughs> Dude, let's go! Come on, Aerith, come on! Here we go! What? Wait! Oh, go, 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 go! Phoenix, what?! I was trying to hit all four buttons at once. I was spamming them. S rank. Let's go. First try. Again, that's the theater kid in me. Broken. I can sign you to the abyss. 
An inspiring victory, truly. <laughs> Great, that love indeed conquers all. Indeed. All right, gold saucer time. Let's go, Skywheel. <laughs> what awaits you at Journey's End, I wonder? Will the goddess grant you her blessing? Or will the flames of vengeance consume you? All shall be revealed, O oh puppet of fate. So dance while you still have time. Dance to your frayed strings. You feel bad for red though, just and you can dance. Playing dead. No more. Dude, Barrett, man, delivered that monologue beautifully. Wow, 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 wow. We're breaking fate. Go. Those I hold dear are waiting. I don't understand. I cannot. But this is so extra. Oh! Oh! Come on, do it. Rest assured. Do it. I shall return. You needn't promise that you'll wait. For I know that I will find you here. Do it. Do it. Oh, you whip! I mean, that's cute still, but come on, he should have gone for it. He should have gone for it, Cloud. You still got time, I guess. You got her for the date. You got time. So there you have it. That was my reaction to Loveless the first time through the game. Now, while you guys were watching that, I went and I was searching for Loveless videos. There's actually not that many of them because obviously the game is still relatively new, but... I found this one. This one is from Backseat Guides. Shout out to Backseat Guides. And it apparently has all of the different choices and differences. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go through all the Tifa ones first, and then we're gonna go through all the Yuffie ones. That's what we're gonna do. So then technically it's like I've seen the Tifa version of Loveless and the Yuffie one. We're not gonna go through all the battles again because I'm assuming the songs don't change. I'm assuming the songs are the same. If the songs do change, you guys can let me know. But I feel like this is a really good video to use then if it's going through all of them. Um, Yuffie and Tifa's actually have interactions with Aerith's song? They do? Okay, so this is third choice Yuffie. Barrett and Red. Okay, so we're gonna do... Let's do the Tifa one first. Here we go. So this is Tifa freeing him from the cell to second choice Tifa to third choice primary Tifa version. Okay, let's do this. Let's see this. I wonder if the Release dialogue me. changes. My blade thirsts for vengeance. I'm ready to see this. Fear not. I'll She's she is I very cute you. in the dress though. Rosa. How did you find me? I sensed you were in trouble. Twas the will of the goddess, perhaps. <laughs> this is actually nice! I like Tifa's version! She looks really good in that dress, too, man! Okay, so now this is the Aerith version. Alright, so now let's go to Tifa's second choice. Here we go. Flesh. So this is if he chooses the future with Rosa, if the Rosa is Tifa. Okay. What is the future if not the product of choices past? Each a fork in the road, and can divine the conclusion of every path. And yet, all tales that begin with a chance encounter share the same end. A tearful farewell. Well, that's enough of my Just have any dialogue there? It's time we set the stage in you. Oh, okay. So that's it. All right, so she doesn't have any dialogue there. So then... Third choice Tifa, is this the one? Okay, they're cutting out the gameplay, which is good. All right, so this is the third Tifa version. Let's see this. Yeah, Square obviously did have a lot of fun with the Loveless stuff. I really, I love her in the dress as well. Alfred. And you know Tifa inside is fangirling. My love, she does the dip and everything. She, this is, <laughs> she said this is my moment, finally. <laughs> Love is not what an illusion. So then I wonder if the Barbados Garm dialogue changed at all. I'm assuming Directive that it doesn't. Wings and broken. 
I consign you to the Abyss. Thank you, Alfred, for saving our world and everyone in it. I do you find it funny she has that extra little bit of armor underneath. Because her boobs are too big. <laughs> but she looks great, man. What awaits you in I love Tifa. I wonder. Will the goddess grant you her blessing? Or will the flames of vengeance consume you? All shall be It is also interesting. This monologue of Barris. While you still have time. Almost is like a warning for the end of the game as well, friend. once you've beaten the game. And you can dance. At least that's how it feels like no to me. More. Well done. I'm assuming they don't kiss in any version of this. But I still want to see it all the way through. Must you go? Like, she's gorgeous with Those the little I thing around her neck, too. Waiting. I don't understand. I cannot. But I like that little extra safe. gasp, too. Oh, and she does the thing Rest on the... assured, it. I shall return. Okay. You needn't promise that you'll wait. For I know that I will find you here. Yeah, so they still do the hug as well. Cute. I like Tifa's version. I I am very curious to hear how Yuffie is going to deliver these monologues, though. All right, so let's see this. Let's go to Yuffie's version now. Yuffie frees Cloud from the cell. We're starting up with Yuffie. By the way, real quick, I, I just want to shout out a couple donations real quick. Uh, KY donated earlier and said, What I like about Barrett's date is that it reminds you that he's the oldest member of the party. He's genuinely the most mature person in the group, and I like his almost parental relationship to Cloud there. Completely agree. He told Cloud exactly what he needed to tell Cloud. Uh, and KY also donated again and said the Kate Sith date is essentially the default if you didn't hit the threshold for a specific date with anybody else. Okay. So basically the Kate Sith date, the reason why it's bad is like, look, you failed. You failed. Nobody liked you enough, so we're giving you a bad date. Makes sense. Uh, Shiro's Game Den donated and said, Roger, do you think we're going to see uh, any reactions to Has Been Hotel or Hell of a Boss? I feel like you would love the music. I actually was thinking of doing that. I was going to do a stream where I was reacting to them on Twitch. Unfortunately, I've heard a little bit of the music already, and while I think the musical quality is fantastic, I'm actually not a huge fan of it. I feel like it's kind of needlessly vulgar, and they swear a lot in it, and I feel like they don't really necessarily need to. It, like, to the point where it's it's too much. Like, I don't mind if they swear now and then. The whole thing takes place in hell, right? Like, that's fine. But it's a little, it's a little much for me. So while I do love the musical quality, and I think the people who work on the show are great, it's not my cup of tea. Um, so you probably won't be getting any reactions for that. And then finally, we got a Corin saying, Another L for Claudies. Even if you got the Tifa or Yuffie date, Aerith is still Rosa in the credits. I think that's the other thing. Is I wish they would have done different versions of the song for Tifa and Yuffie as well. But I guess the song is so directly tied to Aerith's story that they couldn't really... I mean, it's like the theme of the game. And obviously plays over the end credits and stuff. They couldn't really replace them. But okay, anyway, here we are. Final version, the Yuffie Loveless. Let's see the differences. Release me! My blade thirsts for vengeance. Shout out again to Backseat Games for doing all of this. <laughs> Don't worry, Alfred. I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> She's getting into it. I like that. <laughs> Rosa. As a theater kid myself, I have to pause. I'm sorry. As a theater kid myself, someone who grew up doing theater, I do find it very funny that Yuffie's all in, doing the overacting, theater kid kind of trope. She's turning this into a high school play. I kind of like it. Let's continue. How did you find me? Like, she's getting into it. She's you pushing the whole thing. Intuition, I guess. You can thank me later. <laughs> I like this. She's making it entertaining. All right, so now, hold on. We got to get the Yuffie version of the choice then. Let's see this. She's almost being like, don't choose me! What is the future if not the product of choices past? Each a fork in the road, unconfined the conclusion of every path. And yet, all tales that begin with a chance encounter share the same end. A 
tearful farewell. Well, that's enough of my blood. And off she goes. It's time we set the stage in you. Okay. And then I like also too, most replayed is Eris' version of the date. I find pretty funny. So a lot of people with good taste out there. All right. Last one, Yuffie, let's go. Yuffie's third choice. She's just smiling as we're going through this. My love. Alfred. <laughs> oh, she threw a couple extra spins in it. <laughs> She's making it entertaining. That's good. A couple extra spins, the full side, the close up on her face. It's not what an illusion. Hamming it up for the camera. I would expect nothing Correct less from you. Wings and broken. I can sign you to the abyss. Talk about a close call. But hey, we made it. And who'd have thunk? So boom. Hero material, right? She feels like she should be in Hercules. <laughs> instead of in Loveless. What awaits you at Journey's End, I wonder. Will the goddess grant you her blessing? Or will the flame See, I could just go through Barrett's whole monologue three times. I don't really mind, even if nothing changes. Because he does such a good job with this. Fate. So dance while you still have time. Also, someone brings up in my chat. Dance Adam says she got motion sick from all the spinning. <laughs> that's why. I'm sure that's why they showed the close up on her face. I didn't even consider that. But that is probably what it is. <laughs> Alfred, look. Must you go? Now she's getting serious. Those I hold dear are waiting. I don't understand. See, she doesn't do the little I head touch. But oh, no, she does. Never mind. Please be safe. Rest assured. I shall return. You needn't promise that you'll wait. Yuffie looks so cute in the dress though too, honestly. They all pull it off. You here. Lovely. Thus ends the tale of love for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Very, very good. Well, that was fun. I'm glad we actually watched all of those. That was really, really good. I'm glad I took the opportunity to actually sit down and watch every version of the Gold Saucer date. Obviously, I went through my my thoughts on all the different dates before we started the Loveless portion, but I did really want to show the Loveless portion on stream too, because again, my playthrough, I got Aerith. Let me know in the comment section down below who you got during your playthrough, whether you got Tifa or Aerith or Yuffie. I'm almost wondering if the reason why Aerith is the most replayed in that version of the video is because most people got Tifa. Because I do feel like I'm a big Cloud Aerith shipper, but I actually don't know a lot of people who love it. I feel like most people like Tifa Cloud, which to again, totally understandable, makes a lot of sense. I'm cool with that. But I feel like because so many people chose Tifa and Cloud, I feel like people are now going back to see Aerith's version to then know what it was like. But I don't know. That's, that's, that's why I think it was the most replayed. But either way, let me know, chat, which date was your favorite. Let me know who you got during your playthrough. And then also, I want to let you guys know, the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth content is still coming. Because on top of that Porsche video that I uploaded, on top of the upload of my full ending reaction, on top of my full playthrough upload on my VOD channel, I also have Vanilla Salt working right now on a two- our highlight video of the best of my playthrough. Now look, I understand this game is like 60 hours long. A lot of you don't have time to go watch my full playthrough, but Vanilla has been doing a really, really good job of splicing down all my best reactions throughout my entire playthrough. And he's gonna throw it into one video. We're gonna call it the best of Roger's base plays Final Fantasy VII Rebirth or something along those lines. And that actually should be up this week. I'm recording this on Monday. That video should be up at the latest by Friday. 
So I am super duper excited for all you guys to see that. And if you haven't seen my playthrough, you get to finally see my big reactions to certain moments. In terms of things that I'm pretty sure he's going to include, I'm sure he's going to include my reaction to Genova Emergent for the first time. That song was like incredible. I'm sure he's probably going to include my Queen's Blood stuff. I'm sure he's probably going to include both the Gold Saucer dates that I did. So you guys have already seen that portion, but it'll all be timestamped and stuff. And I'm sure he's going to include a lot of the boss fights as well. Definitely the Rufus stuff. Definitely the Roche stuff. Definitely the stuff with the Turks. Pretty much every major music reaction. Salmon side quest with the bow wow wow. Bow wow wow. That'll all be there. So again, if you're looking forward to that, you want to see more Final Fantasy content from me, make sure to leave a like on this video and make sure that you are subscribed right here because there's more on the way. And of course, obviously, three years from now, whenever they end up doing the third part of the game in 2027, I'll be reacting to that and playing through it here as well too. So thank you all once again. Thank you so much for watching today. Like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye, everybody.